Ow. <laughs> this is unexpected little live thing and I thought I'd do my um, haul tonight. So tomorrow I can go to yoga and take care of some things and finish recording my, um, let's see here, my lore video because I just couldn't get with it today. Just couldn't. All right, so I'll wait here a couple more minutes. And if not, I am going to start this without you guys. So come join me. If you're watching pre, then we're just waiting. We're just waiting. Little pitiful me. Just waiting. <laughs> All right, looks like we have two here. So this last weekend, I did go down to Ale area with my and I got a few things and so I wanted to share. So I don't know where to start with. So not my Star Wars. Hello, more lore is always great with me. Yes, more lore. And I will be posting the part two of the lightsaber um, history here tomorrow. Hi, Soul Assassin. So we are here to do a product or yeah, product haul um, from Funko Pop, Amoeba record store or well, it's more than just records. So it's music, video, all that. It's a great place I love to go to all the time. And also to um, Blix Art Supplies, because me, I have to nerd out in art too as well. And also to a couple of items I picked up today when I when I went up to the city where I live at. So we have a couple of you guys here. So thank you guys for joining me. So. I'm going to go ahead and start with some of the art stuff that I have, and then we'll go into more of the Star Wars, and you guys get to see what I picked up. It's going to get a little bit noisy. I have bags. I have all the stuff down here. We'll go from maybe the least curling to the stuff that's more interesting. How does that sound? And go ahead and like and share as well. This was unexpected. I decided to do this unexpected. So, and as you know, you guys have been watching me develop my Mara Jade painting. And so I got a few things. First off, tone paper so I can get into more drawing. Hi, Biden, how are you doing? So tone paper. And I just dropped things. Hmm. All right and a portfolio book so when i do um professional stuff and need to turn in like a resume portfolios are for artist resumes hold on okay and of course hi kick 44 how you doing art paint my favorite gamble so big tube of um flake white and then some copper no raw sienna raw sienna paint so i like to use raw sienna when i paint i do a underpainting so basically i draw out with like raw sienna or burnt umber the painting i mix it with the solvent to thin it out i draw it out let it dry so i already have like the details set and just i have to you know paint over it all right and i also like to draw with alcohol markers and Copic markers are amazing, amazing. And so I got refills. So you buy the markers and you buy refills. So basically you're reusing the markers and you are just um, using the refills to fill them back up. So I have, go through a lot of skin tones. So I have pale fruit pink, which is a great skin tone, like a highlight, um, floral white, like about two of them. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. And then of course, black. Hi, Thomas. How are you doing? Hi, Edward. How are you doing? And then of course, some tools, a pin. So this is 0.5. I don't know how well this can be seen. So I like fine, making fine lines. So when I do, when I draw out, when I ink out, when I ink out, Speaking of ink, I want to get a new tattoo. I want to get a tattoo. 
All right. And then, of course, a liner brush. So it's very, very tiny to do details. Okay. So there's some of my art stuff. Hi, Keely. How are you doing? Hello, you guys. All right. And then I kind of kept this for, I already looked at them, but I do get a sketch box, a monthly subscription. And I've done some live streams on this with Twitter. So I got a Stonehenge Aqua um, cold pressed paper for um, watercolor in black. Oh, that's bright. My light shining on there. So little sketchbook here. And then just fun little, um, again, little tool paintbrush, metallic watercolor. And then I got opaque white watercolor and three, two other watercolors here. So I'm thinking of doing a piece for them and submitting it to make, see if I can make, have my art makes it on, make it on the box. So hopefully, so wish me luck. All you have to do is recreate your own art, share it with them for a chance for your art to be displayed either as a featured artist in the card or on the box. So I wanna try to do that. So how's everybody tonight? How are you guys doing? Okay, so now for the fun stuff. I don't know what I should start with, but I should start, start with Funko, Amoeba, or um, anything else. Let me see what's up. All right. I don't want to open this, but I'm going to do it. Good, that's great to hear. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, I'm opening it because I just can't help it. I was gonna look at it anyways. So I, some of you guys might remember this, the best of Starlog. And this one was, um, came out during Empire Strikes Back. Was it Empire Strikes Back? What has it in there? Um, Cause it has Return of the Jedi in the front, some scenes. So these are all, inside the book here. And we have Java and then we have ET, some classics right there. So I picked this up over there at Amoeba. So if you guys ever been down in our LA Hollywood area, um, Amoeba is a great place to go pick up um, music, art, or not art, but you know, great finds like um, this magazine here, this just anything pop culture when it comes to music, media, all that. Those must be before your time. I, <laughs> maybe, yeah, it was back. Let's see. So that has Return of the Jedi. So in the 80s, yeah, like mid 80s probably. And let me see here. Oh, okay. The other thing I picked up over there. So I'm going to back up with this one here. So I picked up this. I don't like the glare. Come on. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it now. So I picked this piece up here. I thought it was fun. And my chair rolled away. All right, so those are from Amoeba. And let's see what here. Anything else in here? Okay, so this is Amoeba. So here's a brochure. So, and you, um, this has all like a lot of tour dates and stuff or a calendar of events and stuff music wise. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I love it. Hi, Ancient One. How are you doing? Hi, Ed Flores. How are you doing? I don't know if I missed anybody else, but you know, I'm pretty excited. I wanted to share. And if you guys haven't had a chance to, um, I did put together my little Funko Pop tour that I did. Um, so I took you guys along at Funko Pop, you know, browsing out everything. I It wasn't what I expected. I mean, I was expecting it to be fun, yes. But just going in and seeing the characters, like basically a little bit taller than me, you know, I'm a tiny woman, um, and going through each display, and experience it that way, along with the merch, you know, on the walls there and stuff. It was, it was really, really fun. And it was um, interesting to take in. One reasons I wanted to um, 
one of the reasons I wanted to go in was I wanted to see if they had the Mandalorian um, Funko Pops there. So <laughs> when I was further back, it looked like Vader had Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> no, this is a classic one. I would not. Mm -mm. No, no. But yeah, I get it because you have the, the Death Star on this side over here. So I get it. Right there. Yeah. Nope. So here it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? You're fired, Alora. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm unsubscribing from your channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, so Amoeba is a great place. So if you ever have a chance to go, that's old school. Yes. And that's, that's the fun of it is, you know, get picking up those items that, um, that were, per, that were made back then and, you know, and holding on to them, cherishing them. <laughs> you're fired. Yep. You're fired. Yep. Okay. All right. So I will do Funko last. It's only a couple of items, but they're really fun. But again, Funko, I wanted to do get try to get all of the Mandalorian. And mind you, you know, I'm mainly about the original EU legend stuff, but I give credit where credit is due. I do enjoy the Mandalorian for what it is. And so I thought I would, you know, collect the Funko Pops. So maybe in the future, you'll see me do a haul on that, just specifically that. And maybe if they have baby, the baby Yoda species, I might even get that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm partial. I'm very, very partial to that one. All right. So I don't know if you guys know that or heard me in the past that growing up, I never collected the comic books. However, I do see the importance of getting them now. Amazon will be your friend while looking for those Funkos. Yeah. And um, I wanted, to, I wanted to go on to Amazon, but I just also too would have loved to go, get them there at the store and see the display and what they had made for it. But I don't think they're ready for that yet. You know, we know that Disney hasn't really put out any merch right away for those characters and for that um, series. So that was kind of unusual because usually they have everything out right away. Did Ralph McCreary do the artwork on that poster? Very good question. I'll have to look it up. Let me see. Okay, so this has a date of 1977, of course. Factory, et cetera, Inc., Bear, Dell, USA, Image Factory. You know what? It almost, it does look like his art, so. I will confirm that I, I am aware of like some of his um, art when it comes to what he did, like C-3PO and stuff, but I'm not aware of the poster. So if any one of you guys want to go look it up real quick and come back and tell us, then that would be great. So again, what was, what I was saying was I wasn't huge comic, comic book fan or, you know, reader. So I never really collected them, but I know the importance to them now. And I want to add them to my collection to have, uh, especially if, you know, they discontinue publishing any of these comic books. So what I found today when I ventured off to do is take care of some stuff is they do have now them comprised into a collection. So here is this one, the original Marvel years. And of course it has the legends on the bottom. And I will stress this again, always, always, always. I know it's fun to collect all the novels, everything without the legends. I truly, truly, truly understand that. Um, especially if you're going to add them to a collection and have them as keepsakes and um, all that. However, buying legends labeled <clears throat> EU is also great because we are letting Disney, Star Wars, Disney, Lucasfilm know exactly where we were we want to spend our money. So we are saying we want legends. That's where our money is going to be spent. That's where our interest is. So buy labeled legends or original EU stuff. 
And um, so don't shy away from it. Yes, I was salty about it in the beginning when they first discontinued um, the, e the EU, original EU as a lore. And believe me, I was really, really salty about that. <laughs> if you want to say that, I was pissed. And so for a while there, I would just go and hunt if I needed something to add to my collection because I didn't, I read a lot, a lot of EU material growing up. I just never purchased them or I didn't collect all of them. And then from my life circumstances, whatever I had, you know, um, it's gone. And so what I have left, I'm slowly collecting from, you know, building up from that. So, you know, life circumstance, circumstances happen. You never know what's going to happen, you know, somewhere down the line. So um, start collecting now. And yeah, so I'm not going to go too much into that. Yes, Edward, Disney was slow to release. All right. So here is this one again. And so this is a volume one. The original Marvel volume one for this one. And I think there's two or three, I think. And then they also have the Clone Wars. They have Legacy. Um, all, 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 the, all the Marvel's collections and bundled into it. So let's take a look. So here we go. So I thought that was really interesting. Let me see here. Anything significant? I mean, it's all significant, but I just want to see if there's any major scenes I want to put out here. Now, do any of you guys have any of the comic? Any of the comic books? Here we go. Here's the back. There we go. And so I got this one out of order because I figured I should pick it up now and I will search for the part one of this. But here we go. Legacy volume two, Cade Skywalker. and the fells. So we have the descendants of the Skywalker solo fells here, or solo fells, Skywalker and solos right here. So I am just like super thrilled about this. It's exciting. Yes, <laughs> it's very, very exciting. And I hear a lot of people tell me or text me or whatever, type out to me, tweet, do a tweet to me um, that they really like Kate Skywalker. So who is your favorite Skywalker, you guys? Who do you like out of the Skywalkers? Here we go. And here's the back to this. So I think there's only one and two. I'm not sure if there's a three. So this is, um, let me see the front here. You know what? Let's start with this one again. So these are the comics in here. I have had few issues. Those are good years of adventure. Yes. Ray, heck, <laughs> you love Ray. She's not a Skywalker, darling. I'm talking about blood, blood. All right. So in this one here, the original Marvel years, the original, it has, um, oh, let me see here. This tells you legacy one. Okay, so this tells you the collection that they have in the books here. I don't know if you could see that. And this right here, it has its index here of all the comics that's in this collection. So I don't know if you can read it. Whoops, there we go. I hate the glare, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're full of crap kick <laughs> thank you for the laugh oh my god 
so far Cade soul yeah Luke and Mara yep um volume three for legacy gets released in May third volume oh the third oh in the collection here okay I have to get the first and so here are these ones here I, I'm trying not to get too much of a glare on them so it has all the titles of the comics that are in here, I think it's pretty cool. And I still have to finish watching um, Clone Wars animated series because I am eventually gonna do a review on them. And so I have to finish that. The, the focus was for me to binge watch and finish before winter break was over for me. It's not happening. Hi, Max. How are you doing? All right, so I'm pretty excited about this. So they have basically the Old Republic volumes one and two, Rise of the Sith volume one and two, Clone Wars volume one and two, The Empire one through four, newspaper strips, which I wanted to get. I mean, these were a nice little price. They were $40 and so two for now. And then the original Marvel series one through three, The Rebellion volumes one through two, New Republic volumes one through three. The Legacy right now, it says one through two. And Infinities, these series, um, you know, they're, they're alternate takes on episodes four, five, and six. And so they have the Infinities one, the what ifs. And so I will be picking up all of these to add to my collection as well. Because like, like I said, I was, I never collected them. And I can kick myself in the butt for that. All right. And then I think you guys might have seen my Sky Luke Skywalker one. I'll just show it one more time since we're talking comics right now, okay? Oh, almost lost it. So if you follow me, you probably know I have this already. If not, if you're new to me, then then this is new to you. And I thank um, Ryan Kennel for um, showing this to me as well. And I got super excited about this as well. It is Star Wars, Luke Skywalker, The Last Hope for the Galaxy. Did I say last? Yeah, I read that right. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Yes, exactly. Okay, I'm posting this on here because... This is truth right here. This is truth. I agree with it. You know, I'm, it's my opinion only. If you like any of the Disney stories, good for you. I respect your choice. But when it comes for me and maybe for many others, of course, for Soul Assassin, this is how we feel. And it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, that's cool. All right. So I'm going to leave this up here for right now. Okay. So here it is. Look at that art. And I can just geek out on all this art as well. And just like the other one, see it has a little bit of, it has a speeder and the farm. And then it has your, the comics too as well, which ones are in there. It's pretty heavy. This is this is a really thick, heavy book or comic book. So we have this right here. So every single story in here about Luke Skywalker as well. <laughs> Disney did a trilogy. <laughs> I'm already forgetting. <laughs> oh, good one. That's the hard truth, right? That's the hard truth. Okay. Let's see here, let's go all the way to the back. And look at that. Look, that's so sad. Oh, yeah, so we have, of course, you know, the big scene where Chewie dies, saving Anakin and Han and dying a hero's death. So, 
Yes, yes. I find I found it on Amazon. So it's a nice penny for this. I'll, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna admit for that. And then of course, Luke, when he's a force ghost, when force ghosts were done right. <laughs> oh God, I can go off on that already. So there's a big debate going on on my Twitter about that on one of my tweets that I've been monitoring. And I got in with a little bit on it, but I'm not going to waste my time much on there because, I mean, Disney is so vague now that they're making the force just this MacGuffin that it can apply and do anything when they need it to. Now it's not a mystical type energy that, you know, gives life and certain people can harness certain, you know, abilities from it while others can't. Now it's like you can do anything and the force could probably bring back people, all this bullshit. And yeah, so that's going on on my Twitter right now. Yeah. Not my Star Wars. Oh, okay, let's see. That's amazing. I can see the book being hard to find. Definitely an awesome collection item. Yes, go find it. I recommend it. If you have that little bit of change, I suggest it and get it. I mean, it's worth it. It's really, really worth it. The art is beautiful in there. I love the colors. It only exists if we acknowledge it. Yep. But did they do every force ghost right? Laugh out loud. Have my own side on that. Yeah. And, you know, and that's the thing. It's, it's very, very vague now with Disney. And um, it makes you question where were these force ghosts or these force um voices ghost voices for luke for anakin for any of them that were pre-disney where were they to guide them and help them you know and so it just puts a lot more i just it's just ingenious creates plot holes it, it just creates a lot of problems with the lore it's not mystical anymore it's not you know, um, a mystery as well. A force is a superpower now. And that's what it feels like. It's like, it feels like it's going into more of a Marvel type esque thing where it's an ability now that if you have it, you can do it, do it all. And it shouldn't be that way. I think, um, George's EU with his writers and his lore and his approval, really really did it well and i think it's good to keep everything limited and i love the Thrawn trilogy with um heir to the empire when and it's very sad too it pulls your heartstrings um when ben kenobi says goodbye to luke and he says that you know he can no longer sustain himself and he must travel off to the force off into the force exactly that's not how the force works Yeah, you have the force and you have the force and now you can do it. And only if you're a Skywalker, then you'll die using it, right? So let's see here. How to turn off my music. I had a little bit of music in the background. I don't know if you guys heard it. Shellback. OG Star Wars, as an official representative of the Turtle Nation, I say we, we love you and may the force be with you always. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So to the... Funko Pop stuff. Oh, I have cats and everything too. All right. First off, this is going to be featured tomorrow. Wait, today's Wednesday. No, today's Tuesday, right? Correct. Yeah, Tuesday. Okay. So Thursday, I have live coffee chat. So we'll discuss overall lore. Maybe we'll go into the force um, lore more since we're talking about it tonight. Um, so it's Thursday, 9 a.m. Bring your favorite coffee, drink, or whatever your eye opener is. No judgment. So if you're having a cocktail, that's that's all you. No judgment. Um, I think it's pretty cool that you just be yourself. Be yourself. Have fun with me. And we could talk, you know, more. Anything that's going on in the news today, especially if it's like contradicting a lot of stuff, which apparently it is. Um, I not my Star Wars, I retweeted Lucasfilm, or retweeted Lucasfilm today. They say they never even created an Anakin Force ghost for the Rise of Skywalker. Really? Because that's not what's being said when you see the leaks 
for um the JJ, <laughs> yes, the JJ Abrams and um that that Reddit leak that's basically sticking up for him. Um, so it has been leaked that for several several ghosts were film mace, yes, and that's where I have a problem with that, is that Mace died before Yoda and um Obi-Wan were taught by Qui-Gon. And then there's other Jedi's too. And others, but they didn't make Annie strange. I heard they did. However, who knows? Because I'm hearing conflicts too as well. Like with the Rylokis, I got one source that says JJ really wanted that. And then in the leaks, it says he didn't. So what can we believe? I think they're just blowing smoke up our asses because they want to get more people into the theaters. The episode of the Clone Wars kind of covered it. Okay, it was not totally to the T, but it was okay. All right, Ed Flores, oh, stop it. For now, I think it helps that the fan base sticks together. Yes, and so I pointed this out on Dark Council. So I was in there in the chats for Dark Council. Um, love listening to that stream every Tuesday. Love those guys. But um, I pointed out that now we are seeing an insurgent of new EU fans, original lore, and people returning back to it. This is what's going on. They are slowly coming back because the lore is more cohesive. It makes sense and it doesn't um, bastardize our favorite characters. Disney Lucasfilm says one thing and does another. Exactly. That's what I'm finding out too. And again, I give credit where credit's due. Mandalorian so far is really good. Okay. Yeah, look at my Twitter, Lucasfilm. Okay, I'm, you know, if you can tag me to it as well. If not, I will find it in a little bit. Max, they never learn how to transcend. Did she just say the JJ Abrams? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I said that. All right, we'll do. Okay, so here we go. This is one of my items, and it's a mug. It's a Darth Vader mug. I couldn't help it. It is friggin' cool. So I'm going to open this up right now. And I can't open it. <laughs> I'm struggling. Where's my scissors? I just had them here. All right. Forget it. I'm going full savage on this box. If I don't drop it first, go to bed. All right. Now that I got some anger issues out on that box. So here it is. Nice and deep. Perfect for coffee chat. Let me see. And just the information on the back here, Funko Pop made in China, all that. So yes, yeah, pretty cool. Just started putting my figures back into the boxes as they are better to display as stack. Cool. Oh, happy New Year's as well from New Zealand. Well, welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much for coming. Cheers. I don't have anything to drink, but cheers. Yeah, so this is my Funko mug, Darth Vader. Yes, love it. All right, and this one I'm not opening. I'm going to keep it in the box because I think they're better off in the box. So here we go. So here is Han Solo Funko. 
And this one is Endor. So Return of the Jedi Endor. So here's some of the characters from that. I, I almost got Leia as well. I thought she looked really, really good. Um, so what is, is this Darth Vader getting electrocuted? Holy crap, look at that. I didn't realize that. <laughs> electrocuted Darth Vader. So this is when he's carrying <laughs> the Emperor. Oh my God. Yeah, so here we go. Darth Vader. And then we have Lando. And then we have Wicket. And the Emperor Palpatine. Endor. So that's, I thought that was pretty cool. I do have a Luke Skywalker one as well. So do you keep the, do, do you guys keep the pops out of the box or keep them in? Do they matter either way? I think it's purely preference. Um, I want to keep them in here just to keep them pristine. Some people do take them out and display them and they have like a little stands you can display them on as well. Yeah. So there it is. And I was hoping this would be a Mandalorian reveal. Yeah. All right. So that's what I got here. So we could stay in here and chat for a few more minutes before I go in to um, go to bed. Well, I'm going to think I'm going to work on some art because it's still kind of young. Night's kind of young for me. But um, do you guys collect, any of you guys collect pops? And if you do, what are you collecting? Are you collecting them all? Do you have certain ones that you want to collect only? Um, so share, share in the comments here. All right. You're tempted to get the Mandalorian one. So there is, there is basically going to be a series of it for the Mandalorian. So I was really excited. I thought that, um, I was going to be able to at least get one. When I went there, there was a Boba Fett one. Oh my God, that I mean, not one, but they're um, like the figure in the display, like the full on live display of a Boba Fett. And I thought that was pretty cool. They also had, um, you can go in there in each display area. Like they had um, Harry Potter, you go in there and it's the castle and you can sit down on the bench with them, like full figures, life-size life -size figures. And then like also too, they had Ariel, you can go take pictures with her. I mean, just all of that. And it was, it was, it was amazing. It was fun. And um, so the Star Wars one, you had Luke Speeder, you can jump into, and I didn't put that on my video. I forgot to put myself in there with the Speeder. And then you can also go stand by R2D2 and C3PO as well. So, and I, I didn't share that one in my video as well. And um, let me see here. So that Luke Speeder is basically, the scene from A New Hope. So you have when they drive up to the cantina and, you know, the stormtroopers come out and Ben does his mind tricks. So it's that scene. So you have your stormtrooper here, stormtrooper there, and you can go in there and sit. You can play around and, you know, redo the scene. Also, too, you have um, uh, Greedo cantina scene where you can sit at the table with him, you know, and and so that was that was really fun. So, hi Biden, how you doing? Let's see here. Mimi, I'm back. I have a first edition Dark Empire number one and Star Wars Marvels number one. I don't have Funko Pops. Nice, that's good. Um, one of this last semester for my college class, one of the students there taking the class with me, he had. Um, one of the um, Marvel number one, two as well. And he let me take it. He let me bring it home and geek out on it. So that was very sweet of him. And I'm glad he trusted me. Let's see here. Old ones, Vader, Stormtroopers, and Yoda. Nice. 
you're missing i am missing rollerball alita pop cool yeah so i only have a couple of them i have luke skywalker and now han solo let me see i have luke over here let me go grab him okay Oh, and this is Endor Luke. They didn't have Endor Luke there, but I do have Endor Luke. I forgot which one I had. So here you go. This poor lightsaber is kind of a little bit of warp there. Look at that. So I do have, now I just need Leia, Lando. And this one has a little bit more here. This box is slightly different than this one. Let's see here. I'll show you guys what we have here. Blue Senate Guard, Reese, ATAT Driver, Kit Fisto. Okay, so here are some of the items as well. So here's some. And so I'm. I will probably just do Star Wars Funko Pops and that's it. And, um, you know, and not trying to be biased or anything, but that's just my, what I want to do. That's my passion or whatever. So let's see what you guys have going on here. They do. I want to, you know, I want to collect some more, but my big thing is collecting, um, the original characters, um, black series that I have. I have three of them right now. I have wedge. If you guys seen that video, I have wedge, um, Yavin Luke and I have Jaina Solo Solo in her black um, suit in her black um, X pilot suit and um, so I have those now I'm just got to get Mar Jade and Revan and I'm not quite sure who else they have do you guys know Luke looks really cool too bad they destroyed his character in the Disney trilogy. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm 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 geeking out on the original lore. So in the original lore, he's not, he's still a badass. He's still with us, you know, and my lore starting for next week. I'm beginning the um book series Legacy of the Force. And so the first book in that is Betrayal. So if you have that, start reading. If you don't, pick it up. If um if you don't have time, there's no excuses get the audible and listen to it. It's great. It's great. So this is the very last and I, and it's all folded up. This is the very last in the series. So I reread this and I'm like, I didn't pick my lore books that I want to do. So I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and jump ahead and um, do legacy of the four series, because that is an amazing series. You have Luke at being a badass in here. And I think that this will make hi entertainment hacker. How are you doing? They, um, this will make, um, like if you're feeling blue or still upset about Luke, um, how he was bastardized in the Disney trilogy, this series and anything post Return of the Jedi is a great read. Um, you know, it'll, I won't say heal your heart and, you know, I'm just being over dramatic here, but it'll give you the Luke that you've been loving and wanting and, and craving to see on the screen. And yeah. How are you doing? Like 19? Let's see here. And so like and share this. We're going to be on here for a few more minutes, just chatting it up a little bit. And, um, and go from there. So pick up the books. If you have any questions about it right now, ask away. I can help you out. But the first book is called Betrayal, and it has Jason Solo, young Jason Solo, in the front of it. And that one just sets up the whole series. It gets emotional. You get to see his change. Um, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with his arc, um, the new um, Jedi Order basically starts setting him up, going to the dark side. Then going into the Darkness trilogy, you start seeing those changes and the changes in his demeanor because he also goes on a five-year hiatus exploring the force and um learning about the other force societies and i think that's where disney missed, messed up too is that the force societies that we only hear of basically is sith and jedi 
but in the original lore, we have so many different four societies. You know, we have the fallen Isis, we have the Anting monks, we, you know, we have um, the witches of Dathomir or Dathomirians. And it's just amazing just to, to um, get to see all of that and see that there's other societies, other alien species that are have different abilities in the force <clears throat> or can harness the force in different ways. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read comments now. I was arranging for my display cabinets today and have the Leia Barbie doll next to Star Wars Trivial Pursuit game I picked up yesterday. Oh, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Damn, this is ending of the stream. No, kind of. I mean, I sh revealed what I picked up already, Sith Lord. So we're in here just basic chatting before we go. And um, I'm going to start painting, but I can hang out for a little bit longer. And um, so, you know, like I said, I was telling everybody, if you didn't catch it, get, this is not Betrayal. This is the very last book. And there's a nine series of this. Get the book Betrayal, rather purchase it or get the um, Audible. And I had a discussion today on Twitter, you know, just promoting Legends because, you know, as I said before, everybody's getting back into Legends because it's, it has a more coherent, coherent story. Jaina dressed like Luke from The Return of Jedi in black. I forget about that cover. Yeah, so she's in the black X-Wing, um, stealth X-Wing suit. So as the stories progress, this, um, the X-Wings become stealth X-Wings, and it's pretty cool. How can I get time to read with three kids, a full-time job, and a crazy wife? <sighs> get the audible. Then you can listen on your commute and stuff. Someone save you. You're an awesome man, entertainment hacker. I, I adore you with your you and your family and what you do and what you provide for us in the community. Okay. My apologies, John. Yep. Okay. Okay. Techcom. OG Star Wars. I'm looking forward to talking stars with you this Saturday. Yes. Um, I will chat with you guys you in a little bit. You probably know more than I do on the EU. Maybe. I mean, every. I just consume it and I guess I'm being humble about that, I guess. You know, I'm just being humble, I guess. I like the Night Sisters in the original lore better than the Clone Wars. I agree. I totally agree. And as much as people probably hated, um, was it the um, courtship, of Prince, courtship of Princess Leia? It had a lot of world building in there, especially for Luke and especially setting up um, Tano Call Joe and all them as well. So, you know, but some people just frown upon how Luke and or not Luke, how Leia and Han were uh, portrayed in there. And I kind of get what the story was trying to do with that with Leia. So I don't know what, if you guys ever read that courtship of Princess Leia and you can share in the comments what you think about that. Oh, excuse me. All good. Thanks for correcting me, man. I should know since I watch enough of your videos. I I just thank you so much for just continuing on uh, consuming these videos. I do this for you guys. I do this to share the lore and continue it the best way I know how. And what's so funny is I, I, some like growing up, I hated doing project reports, but this is fun. This is fun. OG Star Wars, I have Star Wars Trivial Pursuit as well. I can't, it came with some, ep some episode one trivia cards. Oh, nice. Is that, is that very, very, a very new Trivial Pursuit one, like recently in Disney Star Wars time? Daniel Do Joe was the mother of Tenno Call. Yes. I hated that they pretended those characters never happened. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. When you look at the timeline, oh God, and don't get me started on the new timeline. But when you look at the timeline, basically we should have Tenel, um, Tenel Ka, we should have Alana, Luke, or not, the Luke, Leia, and Han should still be alive. In fact, I think it's ending at, I think this is right before Legacy of the Force. The timeline of Disney when they did the movies. Let me look real quick. I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, so this happened right before Legacy of the Force, and it goes right into the beginning of um, Darkness Trilogy. So if you're in, if you are aware of the timeline, so Darkness Trilogy was 35 ABY. Yes, I will always use that. So, um, and then so it ended, the movies ended around that time frame. 35 ABY, which is Joyner King. And then in 40 ABY is the beginning of Betrayal. So the beginning of the book series that we're going to be covering on my channel. Um, I'm guessing there's nine novels. So for nine weeks. So for the nine weeks that we are, and I will display um, the full list in chat Thursday, 9 a.m., and I also put it on tw on Twitter. So follow me there. Follow me here and there. Cheers to you. Is Moff Gideon a new character? Or is he from the EU? I think he's new. I think he's from Disney's lore. Let me look that up. Let's see here. When I when I looked up the. Um, because I was going to do a video on the dark saber only instead of this whole like series I'm going to do with the um, lightsabers. But then I thought might as well do the history of lightsabers, like a brief history, then going from each era on the evolution and then talk about like all the societies that use them. And then the different types go into the different types, like the dark saber. And then, um, and then also too about the type of crystals that are used and what the colors mean Let's see here. I was gonna put I was gonna put Darth. Giffian, yeah. Darth Gideon. Yeah, so I decided to just cover all of them, all of them. Let's see here. I can't remember the name of the mother with Dathomir. Talzin? Was it Talzin? Are you thinking of um, Tenniel Joe? Techcom T Pursuit was my missing item, but I only bought it for the tokens. It was secondhand hunt purchase. Oh, nice. Good night, Keck. You have a good night. Thank you for dropping in. I know it's late and this is something that I just decided to do. I was going to, you know, do the reveal in the morning. But a gal's got to get up and get her workout in and get her day going. So that's what I'm going to do is wake up, go to yoga, come home, finish up my lore video because it's halfway done. So I was thinking about making two parts of this two part <laughs> because just how my day has gone. So get you got to get lethal in one of those chats. Oh, yeah. And I did. I really, really want to get some guests in with my chats. In fact, I had a Mads Mama Bear with me last Thursday. And I would love to get Letho. I would love to get Ryan. Um, if you guys haven't followed him yet, Matt Wilkins is, Wilkins is another avid EU legends um, person. I mean, he is very, very knowledgeable, probably way more than I am. Um, who knows? But I am gonna go on to one of his live chats here pretty soon just trying to line up my time frame with him but it's matt wilkins go ahead and check it out he is actually doing a review of all the novels and all the material in the timeline so basically he's going down from the beginning of the lore all the way down to legacy so and i don't know what he's on right now i have to go check i haven't been on there for a couple of weeks to see which where he left off at and if he's still in the comics Okay, let's see here. Please do not tell me you've got the JJ Funko Pop. Hell no, hell no. Don't want none of that but JJ Funko Pop. No, uh-uh. Okay. Techcom, oh, I think I left you. Where'd you go? Oh, here we go. Hi, CJ, how are you doing? All right, we have everybody doing greetings in here today. You guys are awesome. Couldn't say Django was banned from the clan or something. Um, Django Fett was banned from the clan? No, not that I remember. It's 
been a while since I know it's been a while since I um he was Mandalore at one time. And in fact, um because he was and stuff when um Boba came about and stuff, they they brought him as a Mandalore as well. So as the ruling uh, Mandalore Mandalorian. Okay. But it depends basically, you know, the I think the fets have been screwed over. So when you go into the Disney timeline, you know, they're not really Mandalorians, but when you stay in Legends, they are still Mandalorians. And so we'll see how that evolves in the Mandalorian. You know, they wanted to do a, um, that was originally hinted to be a Boba Fett or a, a Fett um, series. And when you see some of it from this first season, it sort of reflected like Jango Fett's arc a little bit, like how he was um caught up in war and how jester um jester um picked him up and raised him took him in so if you see that if you see all those sub subtle um nuances i guess you can say it really reflects a lot from Django, Django's time but when you look at the timeline it's not because you know you were having this is after return of the jedi and Django's time was not during that time Hi, Bear Bear. How are you doing? OG Star Wars, have a good night, everyone. If you are interested, I should be doing Terminator Resistance stream Thursday if the game is delivered on time. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I always, I've been talking lately about getting back into gaming. Thinking about Tor. John Talks, uh, our second street street is cool. Yeah, I was on John Talks stream um, last week. It was fun. I love him. I've followed him since before he decided to be called John Talks, you know. Um, so a great guy. I, I really love watching his videos and supporting him and hearing his take on um, all the news that's been going on and the developments of Star Wars and, you know, other pop culture. So Bobo was a Mandalorian. How else could he be? He be the Mandalore. I know that was Lucas idea, but I hate it. Django or J yeah, Django, some random who stole a suit. Mm -hmm. So, but when you look at it, when you look in the lore, Jango Fett was chosen to be the, the prototype of the clones in the Clone Wars because of his fighting ability, because of where he came from. And also, too, you know, the armor was mirrored off of Mandalorians as well, because he is. And when you look at Boba Fett in general and the Fets as well, they are the ones that inspired the Mandalorian so that from them in the lore their image and their armor all that was turned into what we know as the Mandalorian culture so he they are both Mandalorians and when you see it now they say in both I believe that Mandalorians are not only by blood because you know if you know the story the the species that um settled on the planet they named Mandalorian what was they called again but they're from Coruscant it is late anyways they are the one who um, left Coruscant found the planet called it Mandalorian Mandalore and then from there the Mandalorian culture began and later they started recruiting people adopting species and stuff into the culture teaching them the ways so I'm just being very very vague and brief with this but um and that's how it developed. Matt Wilkins been at the lore series for a while now. Yes. And see when, once they decided, once Disney said the original EU is no longer going to be part of our lore, part of our material material coined it legends. Then, you know, I found Matt's um, page and started getting more involved, not page, but his YouTube channel and started getting more involved in supporting him and taking in the lore, his knowledge as well. It revamped my love for the EU even more. And so I'm very thankful that he was there during that transition. And, you know, so it was like a safe haven for me, I guess you can say. Found her mother tells, okay. Spiritual guide of death. That's right. Okay. During the Clone Wars. Shh, shh, shh. 
and then had enormous power on her homeworld and wielded the strange magics of the Night Sisters, Maul's mother. Yeah. Let's see here. That's right. That's that's who it is. Bobo would whoop Mando up and down all over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I'm not going to be the very popular person here. He would have turned in baby Yoda because he's a no nonsense guy. He goes in and said, he goes in, gets his job done. No questions asked and leaves. That's how he is. So he would have turned in that baby Yoda, the baby. Dystopian. Hello, Darth Kriya alludes to Django in Kator 2 ending. Couture 2. Yeah. So is that, that's in the game, right? I haven't, like I said, I need to pick up those games. I've used to game. I've been highly considering it again, been talking to a couple people on that, getting advice and going from there. And so I was thinking about starting with Couture. So who knows? You might be seeing me gaming on live stream like everybody else does having fun. All right. Everything, my, not my Star Wars, everything Mando exists because Boba fucking fit. I agree. It was pure luck. They got Boba in return of the Jedi. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's crazy. Well, he was in empire and they brought him back into it. And I think, but they also had him in the, um, in the Christmas special as well. So, I mean, but he, he was a hit and they try to mirror mirror um what's her name phasma kind of like a boba-esque kind of thing to make her try to stick like boba did it didn't work i mean there was a lot of potential there but it didn't work mole being a dathomarian is a retcon yes it is and that's where that's where you know the clone wars gets really foggy and muddles up the eu so I've said this before, it is now part of Disney canon, and but it still has the quasi gray areas because it does have a lot of EU, even EU that it didn't screw up. So I thought the new Death Watch used Django's armor color to mock him. Think so? Doing good. Awesome, Bear Bear. 1977 theatric poster artist is Tom Jung. Okay. Awesome, Ed. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you. If the Fets ain't Mandalorian, explain K um Casas. Is that am I explaining or am I reading that right? Fet. Oh yeah, that's right. There you go. I'm telling you it's kind of late. And I think I lost my spots. Tong. Yeah, there we go. I was thinking tongue, but I was like, that's not right. But it's again late. Yeah, I read the comics about Concord Dawn. And that's the thing too, is Concord Dawn, it basically is in the Mandalorian sector. And um, so it's part of the Mandalorian sector. So when they say, oh, well, they're not Mandalorian. Well, Concord Dawn is in the Mandalorian sector. So I think that also qualifies them as Mandalorians. The Fed don't play. How many people could get away with talking to Vader the way he did? Yes. He was a badass. Um, so was Leia. You know, she, that's we were just, you know, I was in a discussion about, you know, who, what would you like to see in a female protagonist? And I'm like, Leia, hands down, Leia. In A New Hope, she stood up against Tark, Tarkin and had Vader at her back. And, you know, she was very stern and to the point showed no fear even though they you know you know did away they blew up her planet i mean she was badass she even wasn't afraid to comfort and be a woman and comfort when needed and she wasn't afraid to stand up with when needed as well she was very round rounded character very awesome amazing character Django was adopted they stole oh what am i doing what the heck is going on here? There we go. I clicked into a wrong screen. I know I didn't lose you guys, but I didn't see you guys. Okay, so Django was adopted. They stole him for a Mandalorian story. They stole that for Mandalorian story. Yes. So they did take that. 
take that lore on um, Django. If, like I said, I noticed that right off and I was like writing down notes when I was reading or when I was watching it. And I was like, oh my God, this is Boba or this. Is, and what is funny, because it sounds funny. I was like, this is fetish. And I was like, wait a minute, fetish? That doesn't sound right. But my thing was that this was very um, similar to the Fets story. And there's a little bit of Boba's in there too as well. If you really, really look into it, they both were no nonsense. I mean, look what um, Django did getting away from um, Obi-Wan. Django was okay. Django Unchained. <laughs> George Lucas always wanted Ah Ahs Ahsoka to die in Jedi Purge, so the new season of Clone Wars won't be canon in Legends. Yeah, I remember that. I mean, I was never hu a huge fan of the Clone Wars. I always like um, Tarkini Tar Tartavoski's. I always have a hard time saying that Tartavoski's Clone Wars. It was just right on. I mean, there was even some scenes where you really didn't need any dialogue and you just got the story and it was amazing. Hi, Smiling Bandito. How are you doing? Boba cared, and so this is Matthew. Boba cared about his family though, which is respectable. Yes, and so that was the amazing arc is that if you read into Boba's lore you know he was married at a young age because he wanted he wanted to have a family he wanted to do stuff right and um one of the reasons why he left you know was they were both bounty hunters smugglers bounty hunters also too you know his um he blamed himself for his wife being raped and stuff. It's very, very tragic. So you guys need to get into that story and that's all I'm gonna say. And later on in um Legacy of the Force, you get to meet his family and you get to see Jaina solo train under Boba Fett. And you know that they don't, Boba does not like Jedis. So it's a very, very interesting arc. So again, I'm going to stress this to you guys. Go pick up the book. If you can't, you don't have time to read Audible. Great time to like whatever you're doing on a commute, at home, doing stuff around the house, working around the house working in the garage whatever you do put the put on the book and listen to it yeah it also does make him vulnerable but in a sense you know he i there was no there was no vulnerability i never sensed that in um legacy of the force and i also never sensed that in um fate of the jedi because he is in that series too a little bit all right OG Star Wars, the Mondos helped the Empire track down and eliminate a lot of the Jedi. And weren't they some of the only non-force users that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Jedi? Yes. Yes. And their armor. So I haven't completed my full review for the Mandalorian. I didn't even do seven and eight yet. I was kind of I'm still on the fence about that. So now if I do do it, it is going to be just an overall review. Um, but the Mandalorian armor, when I was taking notes and comparing both the lore, because that's what I do, in Disney lore, the armor, Mandalorian, the Beskar gem, our Beskar, is weaker than in the original lore. So in the original lore, Beskar, Beskar gem, you know, is lightsaber resistance and all that. I mean, it's like one of the toughest, you know, steels or armor that you can, you can get in the whole galaxy. And... The Mandalorians were so skillful and craftful with it that they can make like like mesh out of it as well. And in the new Disney lore, it's not you could still penetrate your lightsaber through that. So when we get into the series, we do get to see Jason Solo um, penetrate the armor, but in a very unique way. It's a force ability that is um, brought back, and I think you guys will like that. So it's in this book here. This is the very last book. And, um, but that was the only way he could penetrate it. And I'm not going to give it away. If you guys know, then, you know, then, you know, but those who don't, I'm not going to give that away. It's kind of pays tribute to Mace Windu. That kind of gives it away, huh? All right. And then when you get into Legacy of the Force or um, Fate of the Jedi, and I lost my place here. 
Oh, crap. Um, yeah, so when you get into Fate of the Jedi, you do have the Jedi also um, seizing the temple there and stuff, too. So it's really, really good. And not the Jedi, the Mandos. I lost my place. Oh, here we go. That would be good movie Biden. Okay. Hell, they fly now. Wait, no. Bubba Fett's flying since 1980. Yes. <laughs> right? Finally get to catch a live stream. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my live streams right now are predominantly in the morning right now, um, Thursdays at 9 a.m. However, that will change here soon. I keep on saying that, but it will. I promise you guys. I promise. Laugh out loud, not my Star Wars. Also, Boba and Han were both orphans. Yes. And what's crazy is that, you know, we know that Boba is basically just a carbon copy of his, of, of, of Django and stuff. So, but yeah, they were both orphaned. And when you watch um, Attack of the Clones, you understand why Boba hates Jedi so much, of course, because his dad is beheaded in front of him by Mace. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> Boba had too much to drink the night before. <laughs> the Jabba juice is 1000 proof. Jeez. Boba had a super hangover and the sun was so bright that day. And I just got done, you know, doing my review, lore review on um, the Bounty Hunter Wars, which basically gives us an idea of how Boba Fett escaped the Sarlacc pit and basically how badass he is. And, you know, I had events from A New Hope all the way into Return of the Jedi and um, how he is feared but very respected by even crime lords like Prince Caesar. Yeah, Leia rocks. That was cool. Leia was also tortured by Darth Vader. Yes, yes. And never once suspected she was his daughter. Yeah, and um, that's that was really neat because she was so guarded. And that was part of her, I would say, for sensitive ability is how she could guard herself. And like I said, we once we get into the lore, we learn so, so much about force abilities and how it's a, still a mystery and how some people are more strong in certain areas than the others. And I will continue to use Corn Horn as an example. He's not good at telekinesis whatsoever. He's from the Halcyon family. And um, however, he does have some abilities that other Jedis can't harness. And it's just amazing how we get to see everybody have something different and unique about them, even as Force users. However, you know, Anakin and Luke are the exception to the rule, which rightfully so. We have the father and even Leia. But Leia, too, she progressed quick as a Jedi Knight in um, Darkness Trilogy because of her lineage. And I think we um, don't really get to see much of her development because by the time we see her fully develop, it's later in her years. But she still is a very powerful Jedi in her own right. Laugh out loud fetish. I'm reading some of these that are like way, I'm like falling behind on you guys. I'm sorry. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to scroll forward. So some of these I'm not going to read. I am officially Legends only fan. I have to, I have to comp compartmentalize the Disney storyline as optional. Yeah. And I mean, there's some people that like both and that's okay. If they did a rated R Boba Fett high-end bounty series right with all the underworld and crime families, that would be sick. Yes. Like Prince Zizor in there. Oh, that would be like the Black Sun. Yes. And um, I'm pretty sure you guys are, might be aware of um, Shadows of the Empire, whether you played the game or read the novels or whatever. You know, and that's a great story as well. We um, we get Prince, Prince Zizor in there. A little bit of Boba Fett. And um, it's a great story development on how Vader was so passionate on finding Luke to a point where he um, he basically um, st stood up for him and kept him safe. And so I thought that was pretty interesting. All right. Good night, Ed. Have a good night. May the force be with you.
Let's see here. Don't fly and drink. The Corellian Jedi were extremely interesting to me. I like Corn Horn story. Yes. And I think I think Corellians to me are very interesting because no matter if they have the force or not, they were extremely great pilots. We have Wedge, we have Han, we have um Corn, and um then we have um and their daughters, their kids. I want to say daughters because they all didn't have just girls. And um just seeing how they progressed in their their piloting skills as well and how brash and prideful the Coralines were. I just loved how they developed that around Han Solo's demeanor as well to give an overall type arc for the whole world of people and um, species. DT was and is sloppy and lazy writing and has adopted nothing more moral to the Star Wars but more than two scoops of pure <laughs> shit on it, OG Star Wars. My honest opinion, of course. All right. Hell yes. Okay, so start at this one, Shellback. OG Star Wars, may I ask your ethnicity, ancestry? Sure. I've shared it before, especially when in the past, when people were like, you guys are nothing but white bigots, basically, when it came to Star Wars. So I am um, Lakota Sioux. Southern Apache and, or Lakota Sioux, Apache and Southern New Filipino. And I have a little bit of French and Spanish blood in me. So that's, that's who I am. I'm a mutt of native with some Filipino and a little bit of European. So that's who I am. So I don't know. I don't know if I look exotic or what. I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Shadows of the Empire was like a prequel to the Bounty Hunter series. That and also a, C, a prequel to, um, to Return of the Jedi, because we get Luke, you know, training and he has his new lightsaber. He constructed it. It gives us a clear idea of how he um, had material to further his training, what, um, how Kenobi prepared for Luke and his um, further knowledge and training. So I thought it was really, really well planned and written out. What was the first sequel book after Return of the Jedi movie? sequels you mean prequel like afterwards or yeah sequel sorry i'm like getting that all screwed up it is so you just want just what book is right after so the book right after that is tales from jabba's palace and various various authors so those are right after so they they are basically in the same they are for aby so these are the books that are, are in for aby in um, Return of the Jedi's um, time frame, so that which means that it could possibly be going on at the same time as Return of the Jedi. We have Tales of Jabba Palace, Bounty Hunter Wars, which I reviewed, and Tales from the Empire of various authors. And then so the book right after, and then we have Truce at Bakara. Basically, it happens right after Endor. So we have Luke um, recovering from his electrocution from um, Palpatine and how he's trying to force heal himself. And I was going to get into that when I was talking about Leia and force abilities. When you look at um, the force healing techniques, again, not everybody is has that power, I guess you could say, or has that force ability. I'd rather say that than power because power cheapens the force when I that term does, I think. But if you don't, not everybody has that force ability. And so in the series here, we have, you know, Jaina, she's um, healing and um, she doesn't, she doesn't have the ability to heal herself. So she doesn't have um, forced healing abilities. So she still has to rely on Bacta or, you know, even her uncle putting her in a trance to heal so he can heal her. So I love how she's still a Skywalker, but does not have that ability to heal herself. Let's see. I saw her first at Lethal Lightning. Laugh out loud. It's Lethal Lightning. Hey, how are you doing, Lethal? I didn't see you sneak in here. Just sliding right in here. Hello, how are you doing? You look very exotic to me. <laughs> That's where that came from, Palma. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, Sith Lord would be down with a M-rated. Okay. Meteor, Meteor 2 and Ancient 1, but pipe dreams that will never come to be yes there's so much that they could have done and they could have you know adapted some of these books into you know short or 
stories, Star Wars stories like they did solo and would have probably had a great turnout and then probably had a lot of novels sold as well. You forgot about if you forgot a part of your ancestry, Mando. Okay, I saw her first. Oh, yeah, I read that one. Heir to the Empire. So Matthew, Heir to the Empire was a, a novel and Dark Empire was a graphic novel. Yeah, they happened after Return of the Jedi. Dark Empire was planned first, but not published first. Yeah. And Dark Empire 2 was also a very, it was the idea of George Lucas as well to bring Palpatine back through Sith alchemy and clones. So there's a huge difference between what we see in the Disney trilogy and what we see in the EU. So we have Palpatine using um, Sith alchemy to transfer his essence into another clone of him compared to not knowing the hell how he survived that explosion. So, you know, so there's that. So take it. And again, you know, that's something that people debate. Well, I didn't like how the EU did it, you know, or I, or I, but I like how they did this. I don't know. It's just, it's just, I don't know. I'm a lot of lost for words at this point when it comes to, you know, people's ideological, ideal lot. Can't even talk about their take on everything. Ideology. There we go. Have you ever tried pe peyote? No. That's not not part of my culture. Um, my people, we don't do that. Um, that's more of the southwest or southwest. And yes, Apache probably. I was raised on my Lakota side. My grandmother, she's Lakota, and she raised me from a baby. And so that that's my cultural upbringing is our traditions and culture, culture along with um, other religions and. Um, I think it's Catholic. Yeah, Catholic is the one that was prominent on our reservation. And so I followed our ways and our ways were never had the peyote in any of the ceremonies, if that makes sense. I was just playing Shadows. Even the video game had better stories than telling than Disney. Yeah, it did. And, you know, the Shadows of the M Shadows basically is a multimedia project. Very well done. Very, very well done. In order, in other words, Sith Lord, Nintendo needs to grow up and start making some M-rated games. <laughs> all right, let's see. Again, I'm still behind on all these, so bear with me. I agree. Most definitely 100% Ancient One. Marvel was supposed to publish Dark Empire in the late 80s. Of course, never happened and was published by Dark Horse in 1991-92. Oh, you guys are so awesome. Another interesting... Fact, that's a Sith Lord, okay. Ancient one, hello. Driving home from work, listening to, listening in, by the way, Jaina Solo's my favorite Jedi. Were you, on, were you on the live stream that I revealed my Jaina Solo Black Series? I have her in the Black Stealth X suit, Black Series, Jaina Solo. Lethal. Nintendo should be least... Do you like an alternate Nintendo? Okay, so we're talking Nintendo stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and skip over some. It is deep once you think about it, Sith Lord. Okay, so we have the conversation still going on. I'll, oh, sorry. Palpatine surviving all those years equals lame. And that's the thing. We have in the original EU, what, a 10-year gap between that? Not even a sixth year because by 10 ABY. Yeah, because nine is when the twins were born. And then shortly after that, we had um, Anakin. Leo's pregnant with Anakin and Dark Empire happens. And so that was basically six years after. So six years after we have you know, the, the emperor coming back as a clone, transferring his force essence into that. So that makes a little bit more sense to me to have an event like that happen so close to the events of Endor. Other end, um, everything conspiring from there. Then having it 25, 30 plus years, where the hell was he? And why wasn't he? I mean, 
they have to explain this away. You know, he he should have been involved in some way on taking over the galaxy. I have two Jaina Sola Black series. One I open, one still in the box, signed by Timothy Zahn. Oh, you're so lucky. I am so envious of you now, Letho. Oh my God. Thoughts on New Jedi Order, Letho? I liked it. I really liked the fact that they brought in a new bad baddie or bad guys, I guess you can say, and it was a different take and the threat was out of galaxy. So it gave everybody in the galaxy a challenge, including the Jedi, including the Empire, the remnants of the Empire and um, the New Republic or the Alliance. And um, so we got to see that and we got to see the development from there. And we got to see, you know, the development through Jason Solo, you know, um, how he started turning slowly, his torture, all that. I mean, I thought it was just well written, even though it's what, 19 books, I still love the series. I still, some more than others, but they all line up really well together. Hi, Tito, how are you doing? Did you have any shaman? Oh, you're really curious. Do you ha you all have any shaman? Okay, so shaman is just another word for like um, spiritual people, like healers, medicine men. Yeah, so we do. We have um, we have healers who um, are specialized in using certain medicines, like earth medicines and stuff, to cure and stuff, and you know, run ceremonies and all that. So yes, we do. Our demon lore with evil spirit type stuff, like all the old myths. Yeah, we do. We have. Um, a lot of them, I feel there's way more truth than fiction with them. Yeah, so we do have like boogeyman's, I guess you can say. Um, certain, I wouldn't say we have like devils. We don't like have devils, but we do believe in there's bad spirits or bad intentions and bad spirits that cause havoc. We also have um, elements of tricksters, like the spider is a trickster along with coyote. And it's just all about life lessons on teaching you not to be serious too much. Um, laugh at silly things, laugh at hardships when you're dealing with hardships, because sometimes laughing and not laughing like you're going insane, but just like, like bringing humor and finding the good in something will help you through tough times, if that makes sense. And that's just my take on that. You should do a breakdown video on ancient one. That would be fun to watch. There is so much to do. So eventually I will get to it. I promise. Was Palpatine really going to pull a Raz al Ghul on Rey inhabit her body? That's what was hinted on. Again, I did not watch the movie, but I do know about a lot of details with the movies. And that's what he was saying. Kill me so I can possess you. She did it and it didn't happen. So I don't know. That was kind of weird. OG, who wiped out most of the Mandos in the EU in Disney's BS? Um, I'm guessing the Empire and Moff Gideon because he has the Darksaber. That's that's what I'm guessing. So there was a purge. And at first when I heard the purge, I was thinking Jedi purge. And I'm like, so they were attacking. But I thought the Mandos helped with the purge. However, we're dealing with Disney. Who knows? So... Anakin Solo is underrated and is often forgotten. Yes, he was really, really good. I really liked his arc. Um, he was supposed to be one of them that was going to possibly be the Grand Master in the lore. Um, but George wanted him gone. So him and um, Chewie. So it happened. And so that's where I debate with people about the lore is that the people will say like anti-EU people or don't believe in the EU or basically just want to debate or say that it wasn't canon that George didn't have any say or didn't do anything or these stories weren't written by him blah 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 you know all that however when it came to major characters and whoever interacted with them those were George's babies like Luke Anakin Leia Han those are his babies so he had to approve them he had to say this is how I want this and so we seen when the time frame came to where one of the, uh, when they wanted to kill off Luke, George said, nope, take the Wookiee, poor Chewie, you know, take the Wookiee. So, and then, you know, we had Anakin too. And from what I recall, he was getting ready to, um, was he getting ready to do the prequels or something? 
I could be wrong on this. I have, I have to revisit it. But he wanted Anna Consolo dead because they didn't want any confusion. I'm good. Good to see you. Riven killed the most Mandos in the wars. Yes, I can't wait to get to that too. Okay, so that's like, I have to sit here and plan. What am I going to do next on the lore? What am I going to cover on the lore? There's so much to do and it almost feels overwhelming. But then I know I'm not going to run out of material for a very, very long time. So that means I can do, finish my Luke Skywalker um, history arc series that I put off for a while now. Then I can go on to Han. I can, you know, I can touch bases on species, individual characters, worlds. It's just fun. Disney canon is all over the place. I agree. I agree. Jason Solo did not, did nothing wrong. Those Wookiees deserved it. <laughs> they were hiding the Jedi, right? And he knew it. He knew it. So he was... Um, Basically, they were a traitor to the Galactic Alliance. And so, yeah, I see your point on that as well. And I can't wait to get to that. I can't wait to get to that. And Letho, I'll probably maybe have you on for one of my reviews. So since you're a huge Jason Solo fan. Huge. And Jaina, too. All right. I would like to see an Infinity Story with Anakin surviving. This is a close to social media of I got an ancient one, no Twitter, no FB. <laughs> You're really pushing that, huh? I will eventually. Not even Discord app at Sith Lord either way. Okay. On Discord, though, because one, the app games I play. Okay. All right. So again, it is getting late here. It's coming up. It's one, it's 11:30 p.m. 31 p.m. here where I'm at. And I still have some painting to do. I still have to just do basic touch-ups on Miss Mara Jade. So, and I have to put up a quote of hers. I missed my day. So there she is. So I just have to, you know, even stuff out. I was thinking about making it a little bit darker down here. Um, even this out a little bit. So basically just the finishing touch-ups of here. Put a little bit more blue just in the front of her face for the reflection of the lightsaber and anything else i see very minor here this painting will have um prints for sale and this painting is also for sale so you know i'm just gonna go ahead and advertise that so any more fan jades out there if you get the painting of course you're gonna have me sign it and everything if you get a copy you're gonna get a copy with me signed and numbered and so that's in the making. I'm very excited. And then on top of that, I am looking at doing a Batman one, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't want, with my paintings, I want to do pop culture. So I don't only want to stay in Star Wars. I also want to do other um, franchise favorites. Denning wanted to resurrect, resurrect Anakin. He was told no. Yeah. And that's what, that's the point I'm getting at is that George had involvement in a say in his Star Wars and that's including the novels and they were all linked to the movies. There was no two parallels because two parallels will hint that one will be slightly different than the other. They were all linked together into the movies. The movies were the foundation because that's where it all started. And it makes really, really, really it's common sense to that. And that's where I get pissed off at this new timeline, this ASI and BSI starting zero with the For Force Awakens. It used to be zero, A New Hope, where the original movies come from. So it's, it's, some people said I'm nitpicking on that when I first did the video. I don't think so. I think that this just reveals that they're pushing all the original lore to the side for the sake of theirs. Again, they own the IP, they own the franchise. However, respect the material. That's all I want is respect the material that came before. Let me see. Do you have a place I can send send you my ID? ID for what? Am I missing something? Wookie's lives matter. <laughs> Burn Kashyyyk. <laughs> that is crazy. Yes. So I don't know how many of you guys have read 
legacy of the fourth series. I know Lethal is very well versed in that because it's his favorite series. Um, mine too. You know, so there's a lot of great development. And this is the very last book. And I keep research, I keep bringing it up because it's the only one I have on me. And I was going to show share with you guys. When I was talking about purchase items, if you're going to purchase items, don't be afraid of Legends label. That just shows Disney what, where we want our material source to come from and what we're interested in. Even though they look beautiful without the label. I say if you find the book and it has a label, get it anyways. I'm in your time zone. Okay. Okay. Deal with enough real life drama. I don't need to on social media. So I stay away like a vamp in sunlight. Great stream. I have great, have a great night. Good night. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Hanging out with me. Yours truly. Your legends gal. Good night. Any idea on, on our next painting? Oh, okay. On the next painting. I am currently working on one. I don't know if I'm going to display it because I also do um, like nude stuff too as well. Like not myself, but new nude paintings and stuff. And I might share that um, maybe not on Twitter, maybe on my live stream of me painting. And it's a, it's gonna It's a nude um, water scene one of a lady. That's one I'm currently working on. And I'm trying to debate on if I'm going to do a Batman one or what else I'm going to do. Um, next alongside that and finish her up so I was thinking of maybe Leia I don't know we'll see Jason was supposed to kill Luke can you imagine a re reaction of fans if that happened <laughs> that George wasn't gonna have it that's why it never happened and I love how Luke's arc is in the series it is it's just amazing because he's very conflicted um, and I love his scenario with um, Jason or Darth Cadis in Infernal. That's my favorite, favorite novel of the series. That's why I already did that novel already. So we're going to, once we get to that novel, it's novel six, we'll probably skip over it, but we'll still talk about it or maybe I'll touch bases on it. Wookie suck. <laughs> <laughs> Wookie's fur looks like they'd make a good um, winter blanket. Nope, I won't even, nope, I won't do that ASI crap. Oh no, I know. It's, it's bullshit. It's bullshit, Lethal. I am, I agree. I was pissed. I think I, I did a review and then like the next day, Ryan also did it. And um, yeah, it's, it's just disturbing. It's just, I just don't have words for it. It's yeah kate skywalker my favorite comic legacy yes um and you were here i think when i shared the series i have of it i have part two in the collection and now i have to get part one i snagged this sucker up because this is such a popular series right here do do i walk the red road yes i do You're not our, oh, <laughs> or I'm getting sloppy. It's kind of late. We're coming up on midnight where I'm at. Nude Batman? No, not a nude Batman. Oh my God, no. <laughs> That's funny. It's a lady. It's a lady. <laughs> no. I was also thinking because my Luke Skywalker, I did from Return of the Jedi, had some in his cloak. What do I do with the copies of it? What do I do with the copies of it? I have prints. Oh, they're over here. All right, so these are on archival paper, very sturdy print paper here for, um, for paintings and stuff. So this is, just off of um, Return of the Jedi, I um, made it closer, did a little bit difference to it to make it my own. And that's, I have nine right now. Um, Mara Jade, um, not OG Mara Jade, but Mara Jade um, won a copy of it because she guessed all the Luke Skywalker quotes. She was like, guessed most of them right. 
And so her copy is on her way. So she won that. So with my Mara Jade, I'm doing the same thing as well. And so I have nine of these prints left. So, and they're 25 each signed and numbered by me. And it's 10, it's eight by 10 paper. And what I'm thinking about doing is the scene where Anakin is now transi transitioning into um, Darth Vader and he's, was, I think, yeah, he's done slaying the separatists over there on Mustafar. And he's out there and you could see the tear coming down his face and he's got his robe over and stuff, almost similar to the Luke Skywalker one. I was thinking about doing that one. I think that's badass. You know, his eyes are already Sith yellow. Kit, um, Catwoman or Poison Ivy? There's so many. There's so many good ones. I see Darth Talon. Yeah. I was thinking of doing a cosplay or dressing up as Darth Talon. But that'd be a lot of time trying to get that paint on me and getting the tattoos just right, the markings just right. Dark Side Detective. Text to speech is kind of broken. <laughs> You're doing that. <laughs> Baby Yoda Sith. Oh, that was another one too, because I kind of hinted about that on one of my live streams as well is doing a Baby Yoda, but doing a Sith Baby Yoda, because we haven't seen that yet. I wonder how many people that would piss off. And a baby Yoda sits standing behind or behind Ray. I won't, I'm not going to do a painting of Ray. I won't do it. I don't want to see, see and nudes. <laughs> see any nudes? <laughs> any, yeah, okay. It says Hayden, Hayden, Anakin, you mean? Yeah. Do it, OG. That would be sick cosplay. That would be fun, but it's just, just getting all that on. I mean, just imagine just like a whole day of doing that. That would be fun though. And I have posted, um, you guys might've seen the belly dance images. I took professional belly dance images. I took of um, myself in my belly dance costume. So I think I could pull it off. I think I can. I mean, if I can pull off wearing a belly dance costume, see a lot, a lot of, Darth Talon cosplay at the local cons. I I go to very nice. Yeah, and I also was thinking of um, Americ's horn too as well. Americ's Tarek horn. So Cor Corn Horn's wife as well. I like her. I like her development and all that. And we almost have the same color eyes and hair. I think I could pull that off as well. Your cosplaying would be cool to see also, have you ever painted Ninja Turtles? No, but I drew some out when I was younger. I didn't paint them, but I drew them. I wouldn't do a painting of Ray either. Yes, <laughs> yes, John, I know. Baby Yoda tried choking all girl, all straight little pimp. <laughs> uh, the little pimp Yoda, right? Pimp and Yoda. Jaina dueled a Sith Ray might actually be cool because she would have the high ground. Yes, she would. She's a solo. She used to have the solo look. And she's a Skywalker. Hmm. Yeah, she's a Skywalker. And, you know, and she's the sword of the Jedi. So that's that tells you a lot. True. Valid points, OG. And John, even if it's her lob, lobbed off hands. Anything dark would be cool. Yeah, and that's the thing I want to do because I already have the Skywalkers painted here. So, and I still have his original and the original is up for sale. I am developing developing my um, artist page. I have um, some paintings I already have to get um, copied so and printed so that I can get everything on my page. So that's what I'm waiting on. However, they are available right now. So I'm thinking of just displaying what I have and slowly add as I go along. And I have all kinds of junk. I have my box that I ripped apart underneath me um, and going along with that and just um, then slowly adding so I can have that page up. And I also do commissions. So if anybody wants to hire me to do any type of paintings for them, I also take commissions. So if you have a character you want done or a certain kind of scene, 
um, I'm here. Luke as a Sith. Make that money, OG. And also, too, I have my merch. So it's displayed on my um, Twitter. And I do it through Redbubble Red because then I can also use that as a, a page to have my art displayed as well. So let me pull it up real quick. Uh, I could pull up here and show you guys through this, but I'm going to not do it and not waste that time. And it's going to take its time anyways. But I do have merchandise, OG Star Wars merchandise, not only mugs have t-shirts mugs travel mugs um you can get it with or without the text and it's the um it's my avatar that i drew so i'm my i'm drawn in the liking of jana solo and i have the purple lightsaber everything and so that's my avatar so let me i'm gonna go ahead and type that up real quick and put it in the link red bubble all right and so i also got t-shirt for men women um, I think I have a clock in there as well. Red bubble. Let's see here. Dashboard. Copy. And I'm very excited about that. I tried to use my original logo that I've been using, but I got copyrighted on that. They're like, nope, it looks too much like the franchise's Star Wars logos. And so I got booted out of that one. They told me that they couldn't do it. That sucks, though. So I thought it was pretty cool. All right. So here's the link. So you can pretty much go on the side of it and scroll on the merchandise listing like clothing. I don't think I have a phone case though, but just click through the categories and whatever's in there that's available will come up as display. And again, you can get it with legends girl og star wars text on it or without because i know that not everybody's going to want to have legends girl across their chest especially if you're a dude i mean i would appreciate it that'd be pretty cool but i mean i know you know i don't know if you guys would want to all right you should talk with star wars girl she's really good with her art too i know i've seen some of her stuff as well and i think it's amazing we have a lot of talented women and men in our community i think it's awesome and i love what she did that c3po she did and um and gave to drunk luke invaders armor is that pretty much dave dorman's luke except for him having a green saber when it should have been Sith Red. Yeah, that'd be fun to do. Just to do something different, have Luke in there and have him with the red saber and and Sith eyes. So again, here it is. You go check it out. And that money will help me um, update my live stream so I can, um, you know, pay for the year service of it and update it with um, more... Um, better better production i guess you can say word so i could commission you to do a ninja turtles painting yes you can yes you can you would just get a hold of me and we'd you know communicate back and forth exactly what you want out of it and um, go from there and we could set a price negotiate a price um darth maul was one of the best in my honest opinion why am i losing what the heck's going on here? Stop. I got to get out of this. I keep on clicking into the wrong thing. All right. Let me see. I am in the middle of um, having, again, like I said, my Laura video is coming together. And so it's keeps on popping up on me. It's telling me to get work done. Okay. It could be done to look like Mark looks now rather than during return of the jedi jake skywalker as a sith that would be interesting i like how um before disney trilogy came about and we had all the lore coming out and so they were drawing out aged luke i really liked how they aged him but then when you look at it and you look at mark without um his beard and stuff they're just about on and so i, I really commend um the artists who you know, really have it in their practice on how to draw, you know, stages of a person, you know, in their age stages and stuff. I think it's really cool. Turtle power. 
Yes. All right. So we're going to close here. It's coming up on midnight now in my area here. So all you guys who are tuning in, thank you so much. Just 13 of you. There was about 25 at one point without me even really fully setting a schedule or fully announcing, but last minute what I was going to do here. So thank you guys so, so much. And thank you for talking EU with me. That was fun. Again, um, get the books. Legacy of the Force. Betrayal is the first book. And you get to see if you um, are very curious about Jason Solo, never not familiar with his arc. This is a great series right here as well to get into, especially with his transition into Darth Cadis. You know, they try to mirror, mirror, mirror um, Kylo Ren after him, in a sense. You can see that a lot of that hinted in there. And so this would be a great comparison for you guys to see what we could have got. I'm not trying to depress anybody here. I'm trying to just give you guys something and have you go back into something that's more coherent and really um, fun to read. And that is Star Wars. And when so reading this and getting to know Jason Solo, it's a great story. And also Luke Skywalker and how well he has advanced as um, Grandmaster Skywalker. And him dealing with the loss of his wife. That's in the series too as well. Let's see here. The OG treatments were the best. Much darker and violent. Yeah. The way the way the Foot can, Clan brought Shred, Shredder back after Leo chops his head off was awesome. Yeah. So again, get the book. Betrayal is the very first one or get the audible and I will next Tuesday, I'll have the Lori view on betrayal. And, um, also too, you're going to love, love, love Han and Leia's arc. And if you were, if you haven't seen what I posted about, you know, Han and Leia on Twitter, the last couple of days, you know, from this last book here, you know, it was very fun and interesting to read their little banter and embarrassing their daughter, Jaina solo, you know, so there's a lot of great stuff in here. And, you know, they really, Han was a man who was madly in love with his wife from the beginning. And it was a great arc for him. And with Leia too, you know, so this is our heroes, our legacy heroes, our OGs done right, done excellent. I think I have, and this is Matthew, I think I have that in adva advanced proof copy legacy of the force bound manuscript. Really? You're gonna have to share that with me on Twitter. Do you like Hantai? I haven't really got into that. Enjoyed it, OG, for stream, fun stream, and I caught and I caught it. Yes, thank you again. Have a good one, and can't wait to see some of the new art you do. Thank you. And again, I'm gonna have two pieces up going at the same time, so that's coming. I'm just wanna I wanted to focus on Mara Jade. Now you guys guys can't really see her. I'm like pointing over here, and all you see is like the board. Um, I really wanted to focus on her, especially the Skywalker saber, because it's, you know, there's, I wanted to make sure I got it as accurate as I can. And I've never painted like a lightsaber light. What is that? Okay. I'll have to go over that. I never painted. I did it with um, markers and on digital drawing the lightsabers light the, but I haven't painted it and I'm very happy with it. I'm very, very happy with it. Good night, Sith Lord. Oh yeah, I am ending. I just, I just go off. I, I'm, I'm very passionate about this stuff, and I just keep going. I'm sorry. I'm just like this Energizer Bunny. Just keep going and going and going. You know. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So again, I'm gonna have prints available if you guys want a print of Luke Skywalker and Marge. Just let me know. Hit me up. Um, I accept credit card payments and all that as well and check out my uh, merchandise and pick up the books, the books, especially Betrayal is the very first one. And I will see you guys around and have a good night. May the force be with you guys.